Inside the Rock of Gibraltar lies a labyrinth of tunnels, chambers and caves. The most significant excavations took place during World War II. Drilled and blasted with nitroglycerine, a garrison city housing 16 and a half thousand soldiers was formed inside the lump of limestone. But what lies inside today? What became of the garrison in the rock? Crowning the Rock of Gibraltar, there remain three 9.2-inch guns. On the surface, they're impressive, even through the rust and decay. The barrel alone weighs 28 tonnes. Once it fires at maximum charge, the shell travels 2,700 feet per second, capable of putting a shell three miles into Africa. When the number one set fire, the, the line there will just press down, hit down, and this would produce an electrical charge whereby igniting the electrical fuse and firing the gun. This is 73-year-old Alfie, the last man to fire the gun back in 1972. More from him later. But the gun on the surface is just the tip of the iceberg. Inside the rock is everything that makes it work. Directly below the barrel and the blast shield lies the gun pit with the pedestal that allows the gun to be moved left and right. Below that, the controls, the ammunition shaft, workshop, cartridge magazine and shell store, all hidden inside the rock. When I see any kind of gun that needs restoration, I can't help myself. Former gunner Peter Jackson is a man on a mission. How many hours have you spent on the sofa? I've, I've lost count. Whilst others baked bread and learnt Spanish, this 9.2-inch decaying gun on top of the Rock of Gibraltar was Pete's lockdown project. He just couldn't bear to see another gun rot away. This all predates electricity. So when you were going to go into the, the cartridge store, which is through this way, you can't walk in there wearing what you wore outside because if you've got hobnail boots on or something, you cause a spark, you're not going to have a magazine for very long. So you have to get changed. So what we're in here is called the shifting lobby. And you'll see here a little bar that comes across. Now this is manned by a soldier. What you have to do is undress. You hang everything up on here, shoes off, everything off until you're stood in your underpants at this barrier. He'll make sure that what he sees is somebody that's not going to cause any kind of spark. He'll then open this and allow you through into here. You pick up your suit off the hooks here, get dressed, put on the rubber shoes that are provided, and then enter the magazine. So this is, this is the cartridge store. I managed to get this working again, so you have a couple of hands. You push your ammunition out of here. When you finish that, then that comes back down. You notice all the parts on it are made of brass. It has to be brass so it doesn't spark. You can't have any metal that's going to spark inside this area. So issue hatch closes, then we go, uh, that goes out to the people that are working on the, on the loading system. I'll just warn you off, there's a, a decaying rat in the corner here. So. <laughs> Seen better days. And now we're through into the shell store. The shell store, I've been doing a lot of work in it, but just, just so you, you can understand how this works, each one of these divots that you can see here, the shell will sit across there. Once you've filled that line of shells, and timbers go on the top, and we put the next line of shells. So we fill this with ammunition. These are too heavy for the man to operate by hand. So we have, above us, you can see the runners that take that ammunition through to the loading system. So these are all working. We've got those all back in position, all able to move on the runner and have a look down this way. Now this little tunnel takes you all the way through to O'Hara's battery, so the two guns are joined. Full of spiders and things, but... But worth a look. Today, Pete has a special visitor. 73-year-old Alfie, the last man to fire the gun on top of the rock, has come to see his handiwork. What you're doing is something after my own heart. I mean, <laughs> doing something commendable. Nobody cares. Nobody, nobody cares anymore. We have the likes of Pete Jackson, God bless him, and a few of his friends who are trying their hardest 
to bring back the, 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 the state, original state of the guns. I mean, it's all, all they need is a lot more help and finance to, to do it. We've got company. Yeah, we've got company, and it seems to be a bit nasty. Yeah. Trainee gunner. Guardian of the gun. Trainee gunner up there. We escape the angry ape gun guardians and head back down to Pete's project. Listen. <laughs> She's working. She's working. She's not ceased. The agent hasn't ceased. I have not been here for years because I had seen the state in which those days was and it was really depressing. That is, brings back a lot of the faith I had lost. But it's enlightening to see that work and appreciative as well because what they're doing, they're not doing for money, they're doing free of charge out of enthusiasm and a sense of history. That's it, that's it. I meant to ask you while, while you're here, Alfred, the, the speech yeah. tubes. Now, I know they had a whistling. Did you have a series of whistles to communicate? To say who was going to pick it up? They used to have a sort of a brass whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically you remove that, blow into it, and that will, will call the attention of, of the guy down the bottom. Yeah. This is more or less like a ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the old voice commands are sent via uh, voice tubes. <laughs> It was very efficient. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a bulk of words in between. <laughs> I want to. I want to reopen it. I want to get it open from here, yeah. so it only locks, so it locks from the inside. With no handles, so nobody can prise it from the outside. Don't be too ambitious, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you are planning on living in 150. <laughs> Humans are a bit selfish. The fact that I'm alive, and to reminisce, for me, reminiscing is being alive. <laughs> The, 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 the hard part is that the people can't reminisce because they're dead. Not surprisingly, this isn't the only Gibraltar gun on Pete's hit list. We have, we have such an array of different guns in Gibraltar because of necessity. I have to make sure that I'm not neglecting the family for the sake of the gun. Oh. <laughs> Les, Les is a very understanding girl. She's a very understanding girl. We have a complete story to tell here, from, from 1704 to 1945 and beyond. You can feel the, the work that went in. You can almost taste the sacrifice that soldiers have made to produce that. We have to look after it, we have to move forward, but we have to understand respect and use what was left for us. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.